Oh, we're going to start right away with the big the heavy hitter, My Hero Academia. So this was the first episode of like the actual season. So quick, real quick, I just want to hear everyone's thoughts. What do you think of this first episode so far? Yeah, no, I'd say I enjoy it quite a bit. Um, I really didn't expect the sidekick to come in. I forget what his name was. Uh, uh, Night Nai- Eye. Nada? Yeah, I thought yeah. he was a pretty cool character to be introduced. And then he has a weird uh, fetish, I guess, with um, having people laugh. <laughs> Probably my best part of that episode. I was not expecting like uh, just somebody to just straight up get blown up. I did not see like uh, Hero Academia at all. Yeah, that, that's the character that I really like. Raven Crow, like herpes guy. Man, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> he touches you, bam! I oh. love the fact that his power... It's blowing people up and just like getting their guts everywhere, but he hates getting dirty. I think that's actually pretty humorous. <laughs> so I absolutely love that scene. And then you guys correct me if I'm wrong, but when one of his sidekicks jumped in front of him, I'm pretty sure his sidekick died as well. Did he not? One of yeah. his underlings? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sidekick A. Yep. Did we good? Yeah. I mean, Random your name. guy. <laughs> Sub Zero's <laughs> third cousin, Roberto <laughs> Zero. <laughs> I mean, if they're dead, they weren't that important, right? Like episode two. True. Yeah. True. And they could have given us, a, you know, a flashback of the, the the episode, just like his uh his growing up. But his they already put a flashback of the. Uh, yeah, 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 that was pointless. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay, this guy, this guy did so much for me, and then bam, just blow it up. It's like, mm, thanks yeah, for that. Like, what was the flashback. point? What was yeah. the point? Yeah, I, I mean, I didn't feel sorry about that guy at all. Really, didn't care about him. So it's uh. Oh, me neither. It is giant. We have like a toenail filer for a weapon. Like that was terrible. <laughs> that brings you closer. Yeah. Or a palace. I don't. That was just. He was just a throwaway character as it is. So I, yeah, I think this new crew is probably going to be more exciting. Yeah. The 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 crow guy does look pretty uh pretty crazy. I guess it's like a little different. But... <laughs> yeah. Well, I, mean, I guess I don't know about crow. It's like he's like a plague doctor. So. Yeah. Is it? Plague it's doctor. not normal. Like I actually like how they're. Like uh, spending so much time with like the with the villain side as well, because like it, it's like as like the hero side, they're um, fighting for what they believe in, but they're also giving it just as much time for the hero uh, for the villains as well. I mean, it was yeah. like I guess it was like with that with like uh, it started with Stain, and it's just continued on. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I agree. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead, buddy. No, I was going to say uh, I kind of like how they're kind of progressing it as like okay, like this season four, it's going to be more serious, it's a more mature atmosphere, and then yeah. it's like. All the kitty villains like kind of got blown out, or they're kind of like they don't matter anymore. And then now it's about this new crew that's coming in. And yeah. And with like the high school academia coming to like their second year in school, like it's it's about to be more serious. So I kind of is it like the second that. year? I thought they were. I thought it was just the fall because I think they yeah, had this, summer I break. Think still the first, like, yeah. yeah, second semester. They're not like yeah, yeah. second semester. Yeah. What were we gonna say, Sasha? Yeah, I was gonna piggyback off of that. I think it's pretty cool to show the villainous development as well because. They obviously had a plan, they failed, and typically that's when it derails everything, and then you just hear about some new villains coming in on steroids. But mm-hmm. these guys are trying to regroup, and you got Raven Herpes coming in. He's like, yo, guys, <laughs> join my team, you know what I'm saying? Come on. <laughs> so I think unwillingly they're going to join sides and then probably fall apart by the end of this. But I, I like the fact that they're actually showing, hey, you know what? We messed up too, just like the good guys did, but we got to work harder as well. So I'll... Like you said, Sredden and Ku, this is pretty good side to the show where it shows maturity and depth. Yeah, like they they still haven't like really shown like the main uh I forgot the the hands guy name, but like really kind of like how his feelings of uh when uh when one frawl went out. It was oh, an awful yeah. one. Sorry, I'm I'm confusing now the two. Wow. Awful, one. awful one. Awful, awful one. one. Yeah. Okay, awful uh, one. I think yeah. the guy's name is Josh Tomura. Tomura Shigaragi. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh yeah, Tomura, Tomura sounds right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they. Yeah, because like he lost like a like a huge mentor, but yet they, he hasn't like really like, they really haven't gotten like tapped that yet. They're, he's just still I don't know if he's just kind of like a well, just people, out of it or people on Reddit were saying that um that like it's kind of like, supposed to show his character growth because before he was like That's what lost his temper, yeah. But now that like yeah he's lost his mentor, he has to um basically uh yeah just basically mature on his own. Oh, that's right. Okay. Uh, we still haven't seen um the little girl in the opening or or the the ending, so mm-hmm. I wonder how she's got to fit in all this. Um, I don't know. I'm curious to see that one boy with the hat who had to be saved. Remember that guy from the last season? Yeah. 
Do you think oh, he's going to come back? I hate though? heroes. I, I don't know, but I think it'd be neat to have him come back. Uh-huh. Do you guys think that Deku is going to like break another one of his arms or hands from using? Oh, yeah, probably. This man's going to just <sighs> shatter. For, for some hard. reason, I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like, uh, it's like, I mean, if it's, uh, if Hero Academia is kind of focusing on like, uh, character growth, like, I mean, I think they're going to do the same for Deku. Um, mm-hmm. I don't think, because I, I actually do think he's going to focus on his shoot style. I mean, there's going to be times where he's obviously going to use his arms. Um, or like, uh, I could usually see like a scene, like it's basically the guy's going for like the punch and then like his, uh, brace just blows up, but his arm's still fine. Something like that. Um, cause his arms look like, I didn't realize like just like actually how badly scarred his arms were until like this last oh, yeah. episode. I'm like, God damn. I mean, he basically blew He's it got that. That is yeah. true. Yeah. Osteoporosis in his hands, basically. <laughs> yeah. He's going to just no, like, he... start pouring milk on him. Yeah. Uh, just have to have to, the old, the old, uh, medical lady just, you know. Take care of it. Does I anyone think remember the what the? Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I was gonna say, does anyone remember what the uh, the preview for the next episode is? Uh, no. Uh, I think it was just stuff with Night Eye. Um, uh, that's the only thing I remember. It's uh, because there wasn't I... anything with uh, the villain. Was no. With, uh... Well, I'm sure they won't show any of that to spoil yeah. it. Yeah, because right. yeah, Deku failed to make that dude laugh, and that's where we start. Okay. Well, because like it's. I, I kind of thought it was really weird, just the way that the episode, it was, like, half serious and half, like, lighthearted. Also, the, the Deku, like, all my face, like, I don't know. What was I thought it was pretty good. I thought that was going to work. I don't, uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I, was I wasn't feeling that, it. I'm not going to lie. I was more creeped out. Oh, yeah, he's just like, are you mocking all might? Mm. Like, <laughs> no fuck. <laughs> yeah, I like that guy a lot. Yeah, we still don't know what Night Eye does, though, do we? No. No. Okay. That, that's the mystery, man. Right, right. <laughs> Sorry, Sasha, go I'll ahead. I'll tell you guys, I think the major character development, the one we're missing out completely, is, you know, belly button guy. He's going to go from any to <laughs> Ivy. I hate that guy. Belly so button much. guy. Wait, oh, that guy. <laughs> you <laughs> the one that shoots lasers? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. The name that's Yuga? the best guy ever. Dude, I want to say, like, he's a spy. If if anything, he's a spy that's been telling the League of Villains, like, what I don't the, think, the hero school has been doing. I, I don't think that guy could be a spy. No, that's, <laughs> that, that's exactly the point, right? You would never expect it to be that guy, but he's uh, probably that guy. But they had his flashback, though, remember? In the, God, whatever the that tournament was. I don't know if it was a yeah. tournament. Yeah, tournament. Like, where they had like, his little flashback thing where I couldn't really take it serious. <laughs> but... Yeah, but that could easily That's be the backstory of like how he became a villain too, right? Like he was sick of all that shit, so he decided to turn yeah. to villain, right? Yeah, because I, I legit it, he got his belt, right? Yeah, because legit, like the one thing I was scared of, like when they were doing like the whole Bakugo thing, where it made it seem like he could possibly become a villain. I, I just didn't want him to. I didn't want like Hero Academia to follow the Naruto arc, where Close it's basically Sasuke. like, yeah, where Sasuke yeah. just goes evil. I'm thinking, please don't don't do this. So I'm actually glad that they they still made like basically Bakugo's just just nuts but he's still like he actually still really wants to become a hero i mean that's like the one thing that hero academy does well is it's subverting expectations that was like yeah. a really good uh subverting like the thing they did right there so yeah oh yeah anything else guys um Todoroki, man what's up that guy he went from like highlight of the whole show to just kind of being <laughs> in the background so i gotta say he got demoted man i need him to step up Dude, he, Same. Remember, remember they, uh, you know, he basically had, uh, he had some stuff against your, uh, your, uh, wind dude. I forgot the guy's oh, name. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the awesome. Oh, that guy. Yeah, I that, that guy too. was awesome. Yo, I gotta yeah. say, smiley face, like rapist looking guy. He's pretty good. This last episode. <laughs> who? The guy who was like, "Oh, hey, I'll introduce you to him. Come on, oh, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. to help you out." <laughs> Dude, <laughs> the oh, his guy? hands look a little rough. <laughs> <laughs> Let me massage them for you with my cock. <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> no, I'm actually like the guy. Actually, seems really cool. Like, uh, I'm you know, okay right you know? talking about uh, dude, what's that RPG that uses like the Pep Boy looking character? Yeah, Fallout. Fallout. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Legit, that's, that's who I like. It, that's like, like when the guy made that character, he had to have that like in mind when making him. Probably. Who knows what he had in mind when he designed the belly button guy, though? I <laughs> You know, hey, some people have fetishes. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, okay. Okay. But yes, uh, in general, excited. I uh, thought episode two was really good. I, I even thought episode one was decent, honestly. It was enjoyable. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, here mm-hmm. at Academy Makes, I think, like, if when they do have to do, like, recap episodes, it's, they're actually enjoyable. 
No, that's that, I would have to disagree because it's it's what? season four. You do not need a recap episode. Oh. Okay, but, Sasha. Oh, shots ahead, fired. To be, to be well, Sasha forgot about the the wind guy and the kind of what happened toward the end of last season, though. Hey, hey. To, to be so fair, there are though, people. I have the worst memory about these shows. So literally, you can tell me like, "Yo, man, that camera guy's been camera in the show." For... <laughs> I'm like, "Oh yeah, totally, man." Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, all right, maybe all right, if they're trying right. to transgress like the story from season three to season four. I get it, but if you're going to recap like all the characters, like all the main characters, it, like I don't see the point of that. It's season yeah. four. And if you're watching well, the the show, you're you're gonna know the majority of them. I'm at least glad though that they they announced 25 episodes and not 12. Like if it was 12 and they announced that, I'd be like, oh, it never be 12. Yeah, but, yeah no uh, right. the reason they have to do a recap is because um because it's a mainstream series in Japan, so they're they're trying to basically do it for the the TV viewers who aren't regularly caught up. That's true. Oh, gotcha. that uh, I true. see what you're saying. And to Ku's point, I wish they would have spent maybe more time on the main guys like let's be honest nobody cares about half that cast like you like yeah. the guy who shoots elbow or tape out of his elbows like come on man <laughs> well, he's like, like, he the died. <laughs> you can go look at home depot or something man but <laughs> <laughs> like i would have liked to see the scene where todoroki is just like sitting in his bed he's about to take some like depression pills but he's like i don't know guys <laughs> you know like show me some of that development like, elbow tape guy and the guy who could turn hard as a rock by the way, I still don't get what the fuck uh, that lady who does the plugins with her ears and sends sound waves. I have no idea how her power works. <laughs> it makes no sense. Oh. She basically like can she basically like like te- like it's like it's like putting your ear on a like a wood like on the wall. You can she can hear like super sense of sound from that. It's like that. Uh, I would I just keep picturing it as like those. Uh, what are those things that like doctors like take to your chest, basically tell you to breathe and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stethoscope. I forgot that. Yeah, stethoscope. Nice. Stethoscope. And then she can also, like, do it in reverse, but she can send out super loud noises, too. Ah, uh, yeah. touche. Okay. So, there you go. But it's okay. She's not the main cast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think her six-arm guy, they, they're all, you know, disposable. And the right. tape guy, so. Yeah. yeah but, I mean, she the... watch, Just she watched the... Like the guy with the play hands, you got to touch them, and Sasha so get all emotional. <laughs> they finally <laughs> died. <laughs> Dude, that guy's intense. Like, I like, I really appreciate when animes get to the point in an episode because you're like, you got 22 minutes, if that, and I, I just want to like keep it moving. So when yeah. he comes in, he's like, "Yo, guys, I'm a bad guy, but you guys know what you're doing." And they're like, "We're gonna fuck this guy up, yeah, man. I'm gonna follow your toes." He's like, "Ah, I got you, bitch." <laughs> That's why I was like, "Oh man, it's intense." Because like yeah. I said, those guys do throwaway characters. So, All right. All right. All right. So I think that's it for Hero Academia.